and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Another exciting session lies ahead of us as we continue to develop both existing and forthcoming parts of our nation. There is so much happening all at the same time. It's kind of intense, really, and just flying by this uh, highway, if you will. I don't know if I'm being a little gratuitous with the name. It uh, just reminds me of my just overall excitement from last session's end as well. But folks, as always, I won't bore you with a prolonged introduction because there is so much to do. Just want to mention, if you've been enjoying this series, you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving those likes and comments down below. As always, they make a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, and how I go about doing it. And again, just as a reminder, I do read through all of the comments, so if you have any questions, suggestions, ideas, thoughts, opinions, or you've noticed anything that I've missed, don't hesitate to let me know. I will be reading the comments. Folks, all that said and done, let's get this party started, shall we? Again, first things first, I will be addressing one of the comments. Well, a couple of the comments, actually. Many of you noticed that I somehow, yet again, forgot to assign some of these fields at uh, Novokropsky over to our distribution offices over here. Um, just, it's a matter of breaking in these new habits, I would say, is the uh, is the issue over here. It's, um, this is a relatively new uh, method. We've done it a couple of times now, but, you know, only with, like, two regions, really. Uh, Novokropsky and... Uh, and more grain ski, I think, and then we, oh, sorry, three, I guess we did it to, uh, to this region down over here as well, just outside of Primo, um, but, uh, just, just getting into the habit of associating our distribution offices with fields, uh, is something I'll need to, uh, keep in mind, so thank you very much for pointing that out, I did miss that, and that would have actually caused quite a bit of a problem, in fact, it's causing some trouble right now, as we have all of these harvested crops just sitting here looking pretty, not doing anything, uh, hopefully, though, with that distribution office assigned, now we're going to immediately see a truck go out, pick up those crops, and bring them back to, uh, well, I think it's to the grain storage, right? They go directly to the grain storage, yes. And then over here, we're going to pick it up from the grain storage, and just as a reminder, bring it down over here to ship it across the waters to here, which then gets taken all the way to uh, more grain ski, where it gets processed into food and meat. Really got to uh, look into this a little bit more, I think. I think we'll need to figure this out sooner rather than later, but there is, uh, there's more, more stuff to do. Um, right now, I mean, this has been somewhat sustainable. We'll keep an eye out for it, but pretty soon, I think I'll want to try and make some adjustments over here with regards, I think, primarily to timings. Uh, I think that will help a significant amount. I think what's happening right now is that all the food is coming through, or all the crops are coming through. It's being processed into food, and then it's being shipped out, and like, I mean, actually, you know what? I guess it's pretty much all being drained, so timing's not going to make much of a difference. It's not like there's a bunch, oh, you know, there's some down over here, but it's not like there's a bunch spread out and it's going to, uh, you know, make up for the deficit in production. We don't have enough of a surplus, so we'll definitely have to look into establishing a new uh, set of fields. We've been thinking for a while, I think, of making a new set of fields out over here in this vast expanse. We have a lot of room over here, so now I'm also wondering if we shouldn't just establish more up by Novokropsky as well. We're not just going to be extending down this way, by the way. I saw many of you mention, like, hey, if we're going to do that, we might need another agro farm. Uh, you're absolutely correct, but that's not all we're going to do. We're, we're going to be extending down this way as well, um, so may maybe actually, you know what, why not? Why not do that right now? We have a couple of harvests. Well, these guys are sowing. These guys are almost done sowing. Uh, these guys are harvesting, almost done harvesting. I feel like now wouldn't be a terrible time to establish a few more fields, or at least a couple more fields down over here right off the bat. Well, before we do that, though, just want to look really quickly at our population situation. Ooh. That's gone down now, hasn't it? That has dropped ever so slightly down. And I do wonder if that's because of, well, let's see, last year. Oh, wow, what, what's happened here? This year, it's only August. This situation is not looking pretty good. Not looking very good at all. Okay, we'll need to look into that for sure. Might just be a matter of, um, you know, we're not able to keep up food supplies. Unemployment has really, really dropped, though, but that's, again, because of all the construction we've got going on. But yeah, we'll, we'll need to take a look at this sooner rather than later because that population has dropped. We were, I think, if I recall correctly, we were nearing 52k, weren't we? Now we're down to 50.7. So, yikes. Well, let's go ahead and establish, with that said, some more fields over here. Um, I think that's a good idea, and it's quick enough to do. Um, and in, in fact, there's a bit I want to tackle in terms of our farms. Uh, let's, you know what? Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. Before I do that, I'm going to establish... 
a bunch of trees over here. It was funny, actually, last session, I was looking back at the last session when I zoomed out, just reviewing the uh, the video, I saw this massive, like, circle over here. I was like, oh, yeah, we need to plant some trees over here. It was mentioned in the comments as well, but I noticed that at the end of last session. Let's go ahead and put down some seed pine. Uh, before we hit play, I want to make sure they're, you know, starting to grow right away. And uh, then we can start, you know, getting some wood from this region again. And that's some decent coverage. We can put some trees down over here as well. Why not, right? Help uh, keep the pollution in check in the area. Good stuff. And then we'll just hit play. So at least time is moving forward. And I can start doing some of this field management stuff that I wanted to do. Um, there is there is not a lot to do, but there is a, a fair bit to do in terms of, I think, the difference it'll make. Um, so let's see. Food related. And let's go ahead and get big fields, I think, right? Yeah. I think we can just fit big fields in the area. I don't think we need to go and uh, make a bunch of small ones with weird rotations and whatnot. We need to do a bit of flattening, though. So let's go ahead and level height from the center. Auto build using rubles. God knows we've got more than enough money for it. And let's go ahead and flatten. This might actually be quite expensive. There's quite a bit of land that needs flattening, eh? Flatten. There we go. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. There we go. Wish I could make this even bigger. It's wild to be at this level now where it's just like, yeah, quarter of a million rubles, million rubles, it's nothing, it's nothing. We're making so much money so quickly now, largely because of the oil exports. Now, many of you have been saying for a while, it's like, oh, you know, do oil, you'll make so much money, do oil, you'll make so much money. And I've been, you know, I've obviously been keeping an eye out for that because it is money, you know, makes the world go around and all that, all that jazz. But uh, it's also fun to have to deal with the challenge of, um, of, uh, of not having just infinite amounts of, of resources available at your fingertips um i don't know it's it, it, it's a part of what makes the game stand out to me um so i wanted to you know keep that going for a little bit as well but of course now we've ultimately tipped the balance where it feels like we'll never i don't want to say i don't want to get too ahead of myself don't want to jinx ourselves but uh, we'll probably never have to struggle with uh, with money unless we make a big mistake at some point and just drain it all or something like that and look at this this is how many millions have we spent on this already how many millions have we spent on this already? I'm just gonna do two fields, I think, for now. That feels like the right amount. Flattening over here. Oh, that. can we use the lower terrain instead? Is that gonna be faster? I don't know. Is that faster? Hell, oh. hard to tell. With leveling over here, might have been faster. Not 100% sure. Oh, there we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. And I think that's about as far as we need to go in terms of this. Look at that. He spent the entire night leveling the terrain over here. That's hilarious. But that ought to do the trick and allow us to just put down a bunch of fields. We might actually put them down uh, perpendicular to the old fields rather than parallel to, like I was doing earlier. Uh, perpendicular to the road as well. That might actually allow us to fit three uh, in the same kind of area over here. Maybe even more. Big field. Go ahead and pop you down over here. Now we'll, we'll only be able to fit two. What's wrong? Need flat terrain? Oh, don't do this to me, game. It's doing that same thing from earlier where... Uh, because of the type of terrain, it's preventing the construction. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. That's a bit of a bummer. If I make a bit of a space over here, we might be able to fit a medium field just up over here. Okay, let's do this. So continue flattening a bit. Pull this back a little bit further. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. It's okay. But a bit of a bummer, though. I understand, right? If the, the, the soil isn't fer fertile, you can't do anything with it. So it's perfectly reasonable and acceptable. I believe fertility is actually becoming, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, and it's, it's been a while since I've checked, so don't quote me on this, but if I recall correctly, I think the developers are actually looking at different types of crops as well, uh, with different kinds of fertility requirements and things like that too. But let's see, if we pop a field down over here, right? Auto build doesn't matter because we don't pay anything for fields. And we fit a big one over here. Do we have to pull back a little bit further? A little bit further, eh? Put another big one over here, though. Down like this, we'll be able to fit two. Now, because there's the uh, the soil problems in the middle over here, as you can see. Okay, fair enough. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and maybe put one down over here. I doubt we'll be able to put... Oh, no, it looks like we will. There we go. Might as well do that, right? Might as well do that. Close to the let us get. I want to rotate that hard. There we go. Perfect. Maybe. Yes, no, maybe so. Doesn't like the soil up top. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Let's do that. Let's do that. You're connected there. Let's go ahead and connect you over here. Might as well just upgrade to gravel right away. Let's do it. 
Upgrade you as well. Good stuff. Turn off auto build before I make a colossal mistake. Let's go ahead and get you working these fields as well. And let's make sure we don't make the same mistake we made previously. Get you guys assigned here as well. Got to make sure they're loading over here. Must be, right? Yeah, we're good. And they're loading up at these fields as well. All right, good stuff, good stuff. This has already started being emptied out. Wonderful to see. We might want to upgrade these roads to like um, asphalt roads entirely, you know, rather than gravel, just for pace. But this should help a little bit. Uh, we've got harvesting going on over here, harvesting going on over here. And this is going to start harvest soon. While those are being harvested, these will be uh, sown, I guess. So that's good. Can I actually fit another medium one up over here? With a bit of flattening, maybe. With a bit of flattening, maybe. Alright, let's go for it. Go ahead and do that. Spend the money. It's okay. I'm hoping, again, that this kind of staggered-ish approach helps with sustainability of production. Keeps everyone working at all times of year, is I guess how I should uh, phrase it. Uh, because otherwise it's just like, oh, we've got a hundred workers sitting around doing absolutely nothing. Uh, simply because the fields have been harvested and... They won't be harvested again for another, you know, however many months. We're just trying to avoid that conundrum. I'm also hoping to be able to read this a bit more cleanly. There we go. Up this way. This way, sure. Connect you over here. Working around the unfortunate nature of the fertility of the soil. And let's get these upgrades done as well. Over to here, get you over to here. Connect you up there. Beautiful. Turn off auto build again before a massive mistake takes place. And assign you as well. And get you assigned here too. Done. Awesome. Beautiful. Wonderful. Let's see how that works out. Now, the other thing I wanted to look into as far as the fields and farms and all were concerned were the um, vehicles that were used. See, this harvester, speed level of 35, eh? The ones we're using, 22 and 28. We could definitely harvest faster. The tractor is, I think, the best one that's available. This is also a harvester, 32, 35. Yeah, okay. So we'll want to go ahead and get the CL Dom 85, I think. Because it seems to be a far more efficient vehicle. The speeds are the same, but the level is uh, is a big difference. So um, let's do this slowly but surely. I don't want to I don't want to sell the ones that are already out here getting some work done, right? Because it'll, the new ones will have to travel again. But I don't think I really have full control over that. Some of these vehicles are out, some of them are not. What are you going to do, right? Let's let's go from the, the back. I suppose I can look at speed and see. Oh yeah, I guess that's one way to do it. Can't possibly all be rolling out right now. There we go. Sell you. So the ones that are doing work are still out there. Sell you. Sell you. Reduce, in our, reduce our travel time a little bit, right? Where are you? Coming back right now. Okay, perfect timing. Then we can sell you. Oh, you're out there. We can sell you. Let's do it. Sell you as well. Good stuff, all right. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. These few are gonna be left behind, but only temporarily. We'll, we'll swap them out later. Go ahead and spend some dollars over here. Again, 35. What's the big idea here? Same maximum speed, but that harvesting speed, I guess, is faster. So, I'll waste any time here. And those dollars that we've uh, spent so much time acquiring, right? I wonder if I shouldn't just uh, remove these guys. But ultimately, what is faster, I suppose? Let's go ahead and sell you. You've got a long way to go still. Okay. Let's see if that does the trick. It should help. It was actually pointed out in the comments. It's like, hey, are you using uh, the most efficient vehicles or not? And I was like, I'm pretty sure I have the most upgraded vehicles. But even as I replied to that comment, I was like, wait a second. I haven't checked if I have the most upgraded vehicles compared to the dollars that we can spend on some of these. Now, I don't think we have any... Oh, we have a little bit of harvesting going on here and here. But overall, we should be able to sell most of these vehicles, I think. And upgrade these guys as well, right? Get that done. Make that big difference over here. Sell you, sell you, sell you. I think we could even, you know, double speed it. Go ahead and double speed it. I didn't want to double speed it previously because I was trying to time those new fields to the harvest seasons. Um, but now we're now we're good. Sell you as well. How about you? Keep you around. How about you? Sell you too? No. Okay. That's fine. Let's go ahead and buy with our dollars. 
There we go. That should be good. Hopefully. Again, just hoping to speed things up even a little bit, right? I buy over here with our dollars. Four of you. We can sell all of these, I imagine. Yep, yep. Sell you as well. And sell you too. Probably get some more fields down over here. I wonder if we need more harvesters, actually. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. But they don't all need harvesting at the same time. Um, I could also take a look at buying... That's the thing. Like Some of these are using old tractors as well. No new tractors available from with dollars. But uh, these tractors, what's your, your speed and level? The Z10-6911. 27. Well, they're just only slightly short of this one, actually. So let's not do a whole project out of replacing them. Up over here, though, these harvesters, I'm sure, are the older ones. Yep. Are indeed. Start replacing these guys as well. I, I really hope that this is not an improper investment. I sincerely hope not. I'm sure y'all will point out, and, and, and don't hesitate to point out in the comments down below if this is a worthwhile investment or not, but I suspect it'll make, you know, at least something of a difference. Now, oh, let's just sell all these. Oh, perfect timing, actually. Go ahead and buy all of you. Excellent. That's these uh, agro farms taken care of down over here. Still using the old-fashioned method around these parts. It's combine. Harvesting speed level of 30. Nah, we got that 35. I do hope that's the fastest. That is. Okay, good. <laughs> good, good, good. With that said, though, let's get rid of these, I think. They're all in the middle of work. A little bit of a slowdown isn't the end of the world, I suppose. Oh, no, these guys are all... Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, these guys are all sowing, growing, any harvesting going on? No. Combines are harvesters. Yeah, yeah okay. I, I just want to make sure before I made a foolish mistake here. Go ahead and sell all of you. Sell you as well. Good stuff. And you too. You. Are you good? Sewing. Let's see. MTZ82 is 24 versus 28 over here. Sure. So let's sell you. Let's go ahead and buy with the dollars. Bunch of you. Cool. That, I hope, think, will help pick things up a little bit over here and just, um, just provide a bit more crops up over here and provide a few more crops up over here in this general area, right? I, I think. And we'll find out slowly but surely. We'll find out. I want to do the same down over here as well. These guys kind of need the same kind of treatment. Oh, actually, these guys I did upgrade to the best. All right, very well. So, good to know that despite having the best available harvesters, this is not working efficiently enough. So, we, we, we know we have to do some upgrades over here. Cool. Now, with that done, uh, let's take a look at some of the other things that I want to uh, take care of as well. Uh, mentioned in the comments by a few of you is the fact that I am bringing alcohol up to the Baraharad warehouse. So, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, you know, uh, for celebrations, for celebrations, of course. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that. And what's the deal down over here? I believe we should be almost done. Very close to it. Very close to it. I mean, we could just pay for it. Um, but it's, 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 I think this will be the last piece of track that I'm going to not just auto build. Uh, just because it's such a grand construction. We're so close to being done and there's so much other stuff to be tackling now anyway. Uh, but we'll, 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 we'll see if I turn back on, on my word there. I think the issue right now is a lack of gravel in here. Now, why is there a lack of gravel is a big question as well. Because gravel... Why are we not producing gravel? Ridiculous quantities of gravel down over here. We should be. Are these vehicles stuck somewhere? What are we seeing over here? It might be that it was all being used for concrete because of all the construction. Oh, there we go, yeah, gravel's coming through. It's just that there's a couple of steps of the gravel coming through, I suppose. Alright, good stuff. Uh, the other thing I'll want to tackle is actually our road situation over here. I did receive a very interesting suggestion um, in the comments of the last session, or actually, I guess, two sessions ago, but it was clarified last session. I want to try and implement that, but for that implementation, I will have to wait until the roads are a little bit cleared out over here. It'll actually be... This is an example of what we're going to pay for, uh, for, for infrastructure construction. Um, before I do that, though, I do want to just check in on this over here. 
what kind of stuff is moving around. We've always oh, it's nice to see the cars coming through. I, I wonder if some of these resources don't get delivered through that route as well. Because remember, we have the distribution office over here. Uh, this one? No, that's a vehicle depot. This one, I believe. Uh, this is picking up raw materials and bringing it down over here. I wonder what road they take. I wonder if they still take the old road. Probably depends on which resources they're picking up. It'd be cool to see them using this, like, highway. It's also unfortunate to see this kind of a thing happening over here. Like, come on, man. Come on. Get on one of these truck beds or, or don't block traffic at the very least. But it's cool to see, again, so much movement happening over here. I wonder if it's all because of construction or if some of it is for deliveries to, you know, here and uh, maybe even food and stuff. Now, nah, food's happening too far from this connection. Uh, and again, I want to mention as well, this is, you know, oh, look at that. This is, Think of this as like somewhat temporary, uh, potentially somewhat temporary. If it doesn't uh, serve its purpose, if it could be improved upon in some ways, then we'll definitely look into that. Uh, but right now, it's helping just offload some of the pressure to the central main road, and it's helping speed up some of this construction over here. I also want to mention that uh, there was a question as to why this has been raised all the way through, and that's just because if we ever want to, you know, pull the track out over here, or if we ever want to build a road underneath here, we won't have to struggle with anything, uh, particularly when it comes to extending the tracks over here. Uh, but again, we can always demolish it. The other thing that was pointed out is there are apparently people out there who are making interchanges, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I need to look into that. I've been shown some examples in the Discord. So I will look into that and see if we can't recreate that kind of madness. Um, and uh, I also want to mention that there was a suggestion that the, you know, the, the bridge can go down to ground level where we want to do an interchange and then raise back up to, uh, the, to highway height, so to speak. Uh, that's another way to tackle it as well. Interesting thoughts all around. None that we need to, I would say, deal with at present, but definitely something we want to consider in the future. Now, this is actually, man, this is a, this is a constant flow over here, isn't there? I don't think we're ever going to get the chance to destroy any of the roads over here. And that's a big problem with how this game does, um, well, demolishing roads and stuff. See, because even if I make a, 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 a side path to use... The vehicles won't necessarily use that unless it's the shortest path. I can't force them to do something or not, uh, unless I just stop them completely, which is it's just too much micromanage. What I can do instead, I suppose, is I can demolish... We'll have to work quickly here. We'll have to work quickly here. Um, let's see, if I get rid of this over here, maybe all three of these might do the trick. Nope, because that'll lose power over here. So I gotta get this some other infrastructures in the way. Okay, there we go. Mission U will just pay for you. This, this might end up being uh, fairly expensive, actually. Move these guys through. Wait until they're... We'll wait until at least the, uh, the trolley buses aren't in the area, I suppose. There's just so many of them, though. It doesn't help that construction's happening at the same time, and so that's obviously taking, um, using up some, some traffic as well. I might just need to cancel some of these, uh, vehicles. There's another way to go about this as well, actually. Yeah, I think I'll go, oh, I think I'll go about it the other way. I think I'll go about it the other way. Now, I might do a little bit of editing over here, depending on how much of a struggle this proves to be, but, uh... For starters, I want to at least express the idea over here, and hopefully it'll work. Hopefully it'll work. I'll let you guys clear out a little bit. Rain's coming through. Okay, here's here's what we're going to do. Oh man, I'm nervous about this. I am nervous about this. This might break everything, <laughs> but we'll find out together. Right, let's get rid of the tracks over here. Get rid of the tracks over here. That will kill power over here, right? Yeah, these trains will stop. we go into... Uh, Regular speed. Every vehicle is coming down this way. Want to make sure that we cancel the road over here. Oh, won't let me. Come on, I move through, move through. Can't have these trains stuck here forever. Wow, okay, so that was, literally, that was like 10 minutes of, of fiddling around with the road situation. That was painful. I, that's definitely something that needs 
work, I would say, with regards to, like, I just want to make an edit over here. I shouldn't have to do that whole song and dance of, like, literally, I had to, what I had to do is I had to move a bunch. I, I had to move as many of these trolley buses as possible down to over here, just so that the gaps would be wide enough that the game would allow me to demolish these roads uh, without having to shut everything down. But it was just, a, it was a bit painful. And hopefully we haven't ended up with some you know, situations that we can't recover from over here. Got some jamming going on that I'll have to figure out afterwards. And hopefully this whole, you know, endeavor actually works. It was an interesting suggestion, but if it doesn't work, then we're in a bit of trouble here. Uh, but the idea that was suggested was to um, kind of go under our current level over here. Let's go ahead and go to the uh, footpath over here as well. We'll need to clear up a fair bit of room here so we can actually adjust the terrain and stuff. The idea, though, was that the... Um, and the tracks would maybe have a bit of a bridge. Um, we could... It, it could go either way. Either the, the tracks go down and then back up, or the uh, the road goes down and then back up. But the idea is that if the dip is significant enough, we might be able to get a sort of a, a you know, a, a tunnel or an underpass kind of a thing going. I don't know how well it'll work. Uh, I don't know how well it'll work, but uh, it's definitely worth an in investigation at the very least. Um, so that's that done. I wonder if we do the tracks first, if that's a better idea. Too steep of a descent. Let's let's see what we can do over here, right? We go down and then back up to steep of an incline. We might we might need to like back this up a bit more to, to smooth it out a bit more. But first, I want to see if this even works over here. If we go with the road, and I believe if we do the um, prefab bridge, maybe we might be able to get across over here. And we drop this immediately, though. Angle is too sharp. Let's see what we can do. We know we can do curved roads here. Got to be, you know, precise about it, I guess. Drop you a little bit more. Am I am I even dropping you right now? Or you're going flat? You're going flat. Okay. Um, but anyway, you, you get the point. Let me try and like quickly do this as well. It'll take a bit of um, fine tuning, I suppose. So give me a moment here, folks. We'll we'll try and get this sorted, and hopefully it'll actually work. All right, folks, that was quite the undertaking, but I think it will be well worth it. Wow, uh, definitely keeping that in as a time lapse. I was initially just going to make that a uh, like a quick edit because I was like, yeah, it's not going to be that much work or anything. And we'll just edit it and I'll explain what I did. But I think it's important that you kind of see what went into it. 
uh, all the kind of terrain adjustments and stuff. So basically, just to summarize, because it was probably a silent time lapse with just some music in the background. Uh, but to summarize what we've done over here is we've dug out a little like uh, gap in the ground over here. And the trains are going to be going underneath through this little gap. And the roads have these bridges. Now, I, again, I kind of wish the bridge, the way the bridges and stuff worked were, was a little bit smoother and stuff. Uh, it's, it's more of a visual thing than a functionality thing, I mean, but uh, but we'll, we'll we'll make do with this. We'll make do with what we can do over here again. We were already working with the confines of the confines of having the, uh, you know, everything's built up in the area. But nonetheless, I think we've done a decent enough job of, of getting this to work over here with these roads. They'll still be the one-way roads, uh, but now they will go over top of the trains, so we will not have to worry about traffic in that, you know, sense of, of the trains blocking traffic. Uh, which is promising but of course to do all that we had to demolish so much other stuff uh just to allow you know the, the terrain adjustments and stuff to happen uh wow what what an investment though what an investment hopefully one that'll be well worth its uh uh you know it's it's price in time and money because we are of course going to be paying for all of this want to try and attach you over here as well hopefully we'll be able to as this is a pretty important connection over here want to make sure that we're able to uh, isn't, uh, this is not so ideal, is it? Not being able to connect with a footpath here is a problem. Mm, let's see, what can I do here? What could I do here to make this work? Go under, over, and around? That seems kind of ridiculous. Uh, we could go down over here, I suppose, across the tracks. Sure, I think that'll be necessary. We need to have that connection. Uh, but yes, everything else has been connected just fine. We're going to go ahead and pay for you. We're going to pay for everything over here. We're going to pay for everything over here. But I want to upgrade the roads here. Uh, auto build. Right, of course, it'll automatically set all this to auto build. And that's fine by me. Better than clicking one at a time and doing it. Let's go ahead and commission you, though. And we'll just pay for this. this. These trains have been sitting here for so very long. It's kind of ridiculous how long it's been. It's going to potentially throw things out of uh, alignment. Well, no, because power has been cut off. So it's maybe not the end of the world. The only thing that could have happened that would have been a terrible situation is if there was a fire down here with no workers at the uh, fire station over there. But hopefully, hopefully that's not going to happen in the short duration it'll take for this to get built up and for workers to be sent down over there. All right, good stuff. Uh, let's also, of course, assign the auto building over here. Go ahead and build uh, this as a road with lights, please, and thank you. There we go. Connect you up there. Get you connected over here. Same thing up over here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is with the uh, trolley bus um, uh, uh, connections and stuff, so don't have to worry about that. Did not make uh, a mistake, which would have haunted me for the rest of my life. we will get the trolley bus connection down over here. There we go, and there we go. Get these regular connections built up here as well. And it was also suggested that we actually build a connection over here because a lot of vehicles are going down the main road, looping around over here just to deliver goods to the shopping center. So let's go ahead and add that intersection. Well, there is an intersection over here, actually. You would hope that they'd cross over here, but we'll, we'll see if they do. Let's go ahead and patch up some of these gaps as well that were made so that the traffic would slow down. I believe that's all of them. I don't think there's another one down over here. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Although, of course, we have to patch you and you up as well. Man, what an, what, an, what an investment and what an exploration as well, though. Hopefully, this will all work super smoothly. And hopefully, we're also able to get these guys rolling right away again. It's going to be a bit of a pain at first. It's going to be a bit of a pain at first uh, getting these guys to all launch and, and find their gaps. Let's go ahead and hit play, finally. How many days was that? Like 12 days, I think a full on 12 days of construction and, and, and adjustment and letting traffic pass. Nonetheless, it's been done. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff built. Look at that lag as well as this stuff gets built over here. All done. Beautiful. This stuff is moving. Good stuff. Go ahead and start you guys as well. They're all refueling over here. Not a problem. Not a problem. This will again, hopefully clear everything up over here. I mean, we can see it right now. This train is over here picking up passengers and all these vehicles not anything to worry about over here wonderful to see uh visually not the happiest with how some of this looks with the clipping and whatnot but there isn't much we can do about that uh, what we could do i suppose is hide it with some trees um that's always an option go ahead and shrink this right down put some trees down in the area we have a building on fire oh what are the chances where is this building okay okay all the way up over here these guys will be very well taken care of no no problems over there oh uh, i was like have i truly and finally jinxed myself have I truly and finally jinxed myself? 
Uh, but no, this is, you know what, this is great. This is flowing. It was well worth, I think, the uh, time and financial investment over here. Just have these guys moving smoothly now. Can I put down some more trees in the area, though? Let's go ahead and make this a bit more pretty to look at, right? Why not? We've been talking about it for so long. I think it's time we finally kind of did it over here. There we go. There we go. And pull down this way as well. We've got all these garages being built up as well. Again, we do want to be careful. It's been pointed out to me time and time again in the comments, and I just want to address as well that yes, I'm I've been I've been warned already about uh, how dangerous cars can be uh, with regards to traffic and whatnot. So we do have to be careful about that for sure, for sure. I do appreciate the warnings, though. I uh, don't take that uh, uh, don't, don't don't take that to mean me saying yeah, guys. Stop Stop warning me with the same stuff. No, no, no. I totally appreciate the warnings and the heads ups and all that jazz. So uh, do keep them coming. Uh, but we will be careful about cars for sure. We want to be careful about overly um, overburdening certain areas with uh, with cars. This is looking pretty good. I mean, there is still some cause for slowdown as vehicles need to stop at this stop over here, obviously. But again, one would hope that cars will, will take, uh, or vehicles, not just cars, but vehicles in general, would take the correct turns. I mean, I really want to see if when food is getting delivered over here, if they are going to use this shortcut now that I upgraded this to be a, a higher quality road rather than the dirt road. I wonder if they will prioritize that as an angle of approach because that would make a huge difference. That would make a huge difference. We are running out of food so quickly. I might actually want to focus a bit more on food over here as well rather than electronics and even clothes. That, that'll be my next focus, is, is fixing this situation up. Alright, cool. You know, this is working nicely. I don't think we need to look for any further proof, any further evidence. I think this is working quite nicely. Uh, it's doing its job. Again, obviously, every once in a while, there will still be slowdown from just, you know, slower vehicles and things like that. Uh, but at least a train arriving and departing isn't causing everyone to uh, get stuck here. That would be... Well, that has been an annoyance that we don't have to worry about anymore. Cool. Uh, with that discussed, let's take a look at the situation over here. This thing is over halfway completed. This one is about a quarter way completed, maybe even a third over here. We've got some of these things being built up, actually, so that's good to see. What are we housing over here? Students with completed studies or all students? Okay, all students is fine by me. Eventually, hopefully, the 21 pluses will move into some of these. I believe if they are students, they should. This is about a third of the way done as well. So good progress down over here, actually. Good to see the, the um, parking lots are all done, so that's cool. And down over here, what's the deal with regards to our tracks? Oh, looks like we are... Yeah, we're almost done over here. How much longer will this take? Are we still... We can't possibly still be low on gravel. Can we? Oh, we are. Why are we so low on gravel? <laughs> Why are we so low on gravel? Got vehicles headed over. Picking up gravel. Yeah, they'll, 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 they'll be here soon. So, okay, good. Good stuff, good stuff. We are making progress down there, though, so that's good. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe if that's the case, we should take a look at the situation up over here, right? We set all this stuff up, but we didn't actually go through with establishing it. So maybe it's time we do that, because it has just been sitting here idle. Oh, let's upgrade these roads, first of all. Get all you hooked up. There we go, there we go. Get you hooked up over here as well. Get you hooked up over here too. There and there. Now, what do we want to do? Well, first of all, I was hoping to have auto-built these. I forgot to check the auto-built checkbox. My apologies. Just going to quickly invest in these now. There we go. Get all of you done. Good stuff. Wonderful. Love it. You as well as... Done. Okay, cool. I don't think this needs to be upgraded. Well, actually, I guess it does because of the distribution office vehicles, right? So let's go ahead and auto-build. Upgrade you as well. I'll put the right kind over here. Yeah, we did. We don't need the lights down over here. All right, good stuff. So this is all done. Uh, what we want to do then is get this distribution office over here. Rather than unloading at uh, all of these locations, we're going to have you unloading over at the warehouse. No, over, over at this uh, road cargo station, right? Yes. So here is where you will unload food and meat. I feel like saying alcohol and clothes as well, honestly. Yeah, clothes as well. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of you. And Chirov Road Cargo Station. Why are we unloading food over here? That's this one down over here, right? Yeah, Chirov, by the way, needs a new name. So if you have a name suggestion, feel free to let me have one. Uh, so we can finally have some proper naming going on down over here. Let's go ahead and get rid of you and you and you as well and then you oh no actually no brickstonia well 
It's fine. But keep them at the end over here. Unload and unload. Meat and food and clothes. Good stuff. Electronics some other time. Nope. Here. Unload. Food. Clothes. There we go. Electronics some other time. Cool. Okay. That's uh, that's better because this this can you know serve as this and this. It's relatively close to get to. Might even add a shortcut road up over here. But we'll we'll get to that you know momentarily. Let's go ahead and deal with this first. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves use dollars. We can't buy anything that uh, really moves all that much stuff at a time. So we're going to stick with our good old-fashioned, our trustworthy uh, covered hull KMZ5410. Do that. Go ahead and get some of the refrigerated um, vehicles as well. Go with three for now. How about that? Right now, over here, we're going to go ahead and add this as a loading point for meat, for food, clothes, and meat, eventually electronics. We're going to go ahead and distribute all of that to, let's see now, here and here. We've got unload meat. Whoops. The thing moving threw me off there. There we go. Unload. Thank you. Right. Unload over there. Unload over there. Over here as well. We're going to unload food clothes and meat eventually electronics then down over here we're going to unload food clothes eventually electronics and down over here we're going to unload meat cool let's go ahead and aim for a 70 percent fill rate see if that does the trick hopefully hopefully if all goes well we'll see goods moving now we can see these trucks arriving over here to drop off food excellent good stuff good stuff immediately getting picked up. This is actually working exactly how I'd want it to. Uh, I wonder if I want to make these one ways. Just to make this a full loop rather than have those U-turns going on and whatnot. Also just cool to have one ways. In fact, I should probably set these into one ways as well, right? These bridges and stuff. I'll wait until the sun rises before I do that. All right, cool. Food's coming through. All right. What about meat? No meat deliveries yet. Hopefully soon. I, I assume meat hasn't been produced quite yet. But again, we will keep an eye out for that is all hopefully moving a fair bit smoother than it did previously. Lots of food at this small barn, which is good to see. Other than a school. Uh, there's meat coming in over here. No food or anything over here just quite yet. I guess that small barn is getting its initial service. Food over here is good. I might want to buy some electronics over here while we wait for, you know, our own productions of it. All right. Uh, auto purchase. Yeah. Just want to make sure everyone has everything they need, everything they want. Over here you can see a bit of jamming going on right now because I guess we've, you know, set all those vehicles out at the same time plus all this construction and, and stuff going on all at once i will definitely well we'll hopefully see the stuff get sorted out sooner rather than later and see smoother movement sooner rather than later this is really cool though i actually quite like this setup quite a bit i was worried it wasn't going to work properly but it's it's worked out fairly nicely i would say what are you doing what are, what are you working on here unfinished road which one oh okay pay for it weird because vehicles were still using it if i'm not mistaken uh if we make this a one way ah uh, yeah we could we could we could make this a one way I'm trying to figure out what the downside of it would be if any this kind of a thing this kind of a thing i think that works Right, and then on the way back, you can refuel. Sure, let's try that. And then actually, on the topic of one ways, as I was saying, I want to kind of do the same over here. If we can control this traffic. We cannot do it for the bridge, eh? Can we? Oh, we can. Okay, good. Right side moving, please. There we go. And you guys will be coming over this way. And of course, the center is two ways. Cool. All right. All right. I think we got everything over here. Yeah. Good stuff. Cool. Okay. Awesome. One way bridge is done. Everything's done. This is still seeing some traffic as well. I was hoping to see more use of the, uh, oh, hey, look at that. Okay, cool. We're actually getting some buses to use these as well. Wonderful. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Now what's the deal down over here? Yeah, this just got completed deal over here are assigned. You are indeed might just pay for it all. <laughs> might just pay for it all. We definitely have to pay for this stuff. Let's not forget. We'll have to arrange this stuff as well. And this is being built up over here as well. 
Taking some of the resources. Missing steel. Oh, no, that's... Right, of course. Now, that's happened because we, um... Because of our little, uh, you know, train jam over here for the longest time. That's definitely impacted our steel movement. But I think we should be fine now. Who's actually bringing steel over to you? Shouldn't be that difficult. It's little, literally right across the street from you. We got dumpers. Oh, is that all we have here? Dumpers? Ah, okay, well, there's got to be a distribution office that's bringing... Yeah. Got a couple of distribution offices. I'm sure one is bringing steel over. Ooh. Could pay for it. I feel like we've got at least one, two big tasks on the go right now. That's just it. It's like... Do I feel the urgency to pay for it, or do we have other tasks on the go that I can tackle at the same time? That's kind of the balancing act I play with this kind of stuff, I guess. Uh, what's the deal over here? Field requires workers or mechanisms to harvest... Did I not... Sign you? Possible. No, okay, good. Uh, mechanism has arrived. I was like, hang on a second, there's no way I made that much of a mistake. Nah, we're good, we're good. We're good, okay. Harvesting going on over here. What's the uh, crop situation looking like here? 20 tons. 51 for here. Okay. I'd like to see... Well, what's the deal down over here, actually? 191 tons. You are out of fuel. Let's see. I see. Okay, well, let's see if we can't... add a new connection to you. To unload... Fuel. I don't know which one. Okay, so both. Because it should be loading fuel. No, what are you loading, actually? This one is loading fuel, yeah. Alright, we should see fuel being pushed over here. We'll allow for refueling of these chips, hopefully. I think this one is... Nope. Hopefully one's headed over. I could buy a little bit just to get this thing, just to give this thing a little bit of a, a jump start, if you will. But I want to make sure it's working properly, right? I want to make sure it's working properly. I want a gas station. I want to make sure we've got this set to unload as well. Yeah, cargo harbor small unload, yeah. Who knows how much of a priority it really is, even. Keep an eye out. They do have a connection. They should be able to go up over here, pick it up. Go down over here and drop it off. Yep. Because again, otherwise you'll have to get like a pump and stuff installed over here. Not seeing the movement right now. We have fuel over here, I imagine. Yep. Could also add this as a pickup point. I really felt the need to. Let's see what's, uh, what's going on over here. Hmm. Really? Just not going to bother. Not gonna bother, eh? 240 tons of crops just sitting there. What if I... Just as an experiment... Add you... As a spot from where to load fuel. Because we have... I mean, I guess we have an individual truck doing this, rather than a distribution office. So, you know what? Alright. Over to you. Over to you. Go ahead and buy one of these at this vehicle depot. Thankfully, we have one nearby. Uh, where are we? Oil tank. You, thank you. The KMZ's coming into the rescue once again. I'm gonna go over to here and pick up fuel so we don't, you know, interrupt anything else that's up over here for the other distributions. Go over here and unload the fuel. Right. Get you to work. And yeah, just keep cycling that. We'll have more, more than enough fuel over here. Because these guys, I mean, they've been topped up forever, right? Like, that's not been a problem at all. Yeah, not at all. We'll keep them topped up, though. This will be good. Crops will come across the water over here. Quite a bit of crops, actually. Warehouse fire, fire? Warehouse fire up over here. I think it'll be a non-issue. Fire trucks are already headed over. See them over here. They'll arrive in no time, no problem. Good stuff, good stuff. Fantastic stuff. You guys are out of fuel as well. Are we not delivering fuel to these guys? Because I could have sworn... Let me check over here. You, don't you have... Yeah, this is assigned, but it's just not delivering over here. Well, that's kind of silly. That's kind of silly. 
very well. Let's go ahead and buy... Let's buy an oil cistern. There we go. Go ahead and add this. And this. Unload fuel. Load fuel. That ought to do the trick. Glad I checked. Yeah, looks like we're getting fuel over here. Yeah, weird that the distribution office doesn't register that as a uh, as a viable thing to do, I suppose. But not a big deal. Not the end of the world. We're okay. We're okay. Are you taking crops? No, who's taking crops down? You're taking crops down, right? Yeah, okay, good. Good stuff, good stuff. So up over here, we have some crops. Harvest is happening right now, or I think harvest just finished, for many of these at least. Okay. I do wonder, actually, if this is kind of a waste at this point in time. If we're just spending too much, too many resources down over here, and if we wouldn't be better off getting all the uh, crops up over here. Because, like, there's a lot of wasted time up over here, right? Hmm. Let's see. You got four trucks. Only three fields. Are any of these, any of these fields, like, not being attended to? I remember that being a problem at one point. You guys being taken care of, these guys being taken care of, okay, you're fine. Nothing over here has like a bunch of hor- ah, there we go, there it is. Like I said, I remember it being a problem. 600 tons of crops just sitting there. 600 tons just sitting there. Because this distribution office I believe is maxed out, right? It's not. Now it's maxed out. Okay, okay. Okay. I mean... Like, do I remove a connection and swap it out and just stay on top of that at all times? Or do I just add a truck? These guys... I don't think getting rid of a... tractor or a harvest necessarily makes sense. Maybe just wait until one is done and then do the other one. Maybe, maybe just a little bit of micromanagement required over here. I don't want to establish another distribution office for one field. That would be ridiculous. What we can do, we can do this. We can assign you because you have a couple of trucks, right? So we can do that instead. At least there'll be a bit more efficiency over here. Fair enough. Let's do that. Look at these trucks arrive, like just lining up for all of the uh, crops over here. That'll hopefully give us a bit of a jump start. Wow. Wow. Okay. Huh. Fair enough. Up over here, fuel has started arriving. Excellent. And again, one ton of fuel does not equal, like, keep in mind, like, this is liters, right? Not tons. So, a little bit of fuel goes a long way, uh, as far as, as far as that is concerned. What's the deal down over here? We got food, we got clothes, we got electronics, we got meat. Alright, good stuff. These guys are not complaining about much. None of the, the, oh, look at these guys. A little bit more sport would go a long way. Okay, fair enough. Wow, wow, look at these guys. They're, they're... They're pretty well taken care of. Huh. Okay. Alright, that feels good. These guys, same thing over here as well. Pretty happy, pretty happy. Excellent. Oh man, it feels so good to finally kind of be on top of some of these things. These guys are feeling good as well, overall. Maybe another pub, maybe some more sports. Very well, okay. That's a fire station. Nice. Alright, awesome. I feel good about that. Now, if that's the case... Why does our population continue to dwindle? Weren't we at 50.7? Now we're at 50.4? Man. Oh man, that is not good. That is not good. Healthcare and clothes. What is up with clothes, actually? That was a problem that reared its ugly head at the end of last session, if I recall correctly. Have we run dry our surplus? That seems to be the case over here. Fab what, wait, what do we need for clothes again? Fabric. Oh, just fabric. It's the fabric factory that needs crops and chemicals. We are producing fabric all the way down at uh, Petrograd as well, right? But we need fabric for uh, producing cars as well. The uh, beautiful you know, seat covers don't make themselves, obviously. What's the deal over here? Missing crops and chemicals. Fair enough. Crops and chemicals are both here. What's the deal then? Oh, is it because... Hang on a second. It's because we redid all this, right? Um, let's go ahead and add 
you and you. The Petrograd Fabric Factory requires props and chemicals. Plastics Factory requires chemicals. Load up plastics and drop them off at the warehouse. There we go. Cool. Get all that sorted. Uh, but yeah, so we are able to produce fabrics down over here as soon as chemicals arrive. Are we dropping off chemicals over here as well? Sorry. Uh, fabric factory, yes. Should be getting chemicals too. So these guys will be producing fabric. I could produce clothes down over here, I suppose. We'd have to ship it pretty far. Uh, we are naturally bringing fabrics up over here as well to this warehouse. Uh, and there will be chemicals available here as well. So we could make clothes out over here too. And then ship it like drive it all the way over to here I suppose and, and ship it across that is an option uh, we'll see how fabric gets used down over here but of course we need clothes for our people uh, kind of a good idea to to eat and clothe people typically just just you know typically no resources no chemicals are we out of chemicals we've got chemicals in here we've got chemicals in here why are we not dropping chemicals off over here these guys are taking chemicals of course they're not why are you not picking up chemicals Load, that's why. Load chemicals at the warehouse as well, please. Beautiful. That'll do the trick. There we go, yeah. These guys are getting chemicals now. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. No workers at present, but they'll come through. Don't worry about that. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Do I want to make fabric? Do I want to make clothes down over here? Uh, what I could do is I could make clothes down over here. We could extend this further. Have a clothing factory down over here. Deliver the clothes to this warehouse. Clothes would get picked up from this warehouse and pulled up, over, around, over, and I guess we could have like a warehouse over here or something, somewhere to drop those clothes off. I don't know. I mean, the other options, of course, we go from this, oh, you know what, actually? The other option is we go from this uh, warehouse over here, up this way, over, loop all the way around this long established track and drop the goods off maybe at this warehouse kind of makes sense doesn't it it kind of makes sense we might want to tackle that we might want to tackle that are you seriously come on get to it don't be lazy get to it these guys are i'm pretty sure at their maximum uh, radius by the way Maximum like discovery radius or whatever you want to call it. Already have an assignment. No concrete though. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. That that could actually be a pretty interesting use of uh, of the area down over here. Let's actually take a look. I wonder if people will be able to reach that far though. Might have to drive down there. No, they might be able to walk over. They're able to walk all the way to here, so they should be able to walk to a fabric factory if there's one down over here. We'd have to rework this though because we need to have the um, factory crossing road mod used. Uh, let's go ahead and see B. What is it? Equipment. Various industry, maybe? Clothing factory. There we go. Did I say fabric? I meant clothing factory. All right. And we'll do the infrastructure. We'll just need to adjust some of the piping and stuff. Or we do this. Eh. Too tight. We could do it at an angle, maybe. Eh, we'll just have to get rid of, uh, of the piping over here. Establish that over here. Oh, sorry. I was still looking at its limitations. Oh yeah, we got a road and factory connection at the same, in the same direction as you can see. So that would actually work out quite nicely if we do something like this. Rework the piping, just have to raise it a bit or something. Do something like this, people will be able to walk here, hopefully no problem. Yeah, we can get a sidewalk connection this way. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hello. This works out nicer than expected. Wasn't expecting to be able to put this down. Okay, let's do let's do this. Let's find your construction. I think we should be able to to work this actually. Getting ahead of myself, maybe. What's the deal over here? You know what? Well, this is what I mean. I was gonna say let's just pay for the the construction, but now we're tackling uh, this fabric, this clothing thing, which I think is important to tackle as well. Actually, could stay focused on that. You know what? You're not getting any metal. You're not getting any steel. You're not getting any steel at all. Why not? Where is the... And this is the other thing about, like, not just paying for it. We're identifying these kinds of issues as well. What's the deal over here? Why are you not getting any steel? 
Oxal and Bones. Uh, where are we? Let's. Real construction office. Prefab panels, you're loading. Either you're loading. Oh, you know what? You know what? We don't have you sat right. Load steel over here, please. What about you, Oxalinsky's rail construction office over here as well? Gravel over. I don't know if we're picking any up. No, this is for fuel. Fuel for fuel. You're automatically set. Okay. Sure. Let's see if that does anything here. Absolutely ridiculous. Still only dumpers headed over. If it doesn't do anything, well, I really ought to figure that out. Really ought to figure that out. Because we should be able to load steel at this road cargo station. Plenty of steel available. And then bring it down to the Oxalinsky Ring Rail Construction Office. Yes. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for it. We'll keep an eye out for it. And uh, if um, if it looks like, like after the, the, the clothing situation is solved, if this still hasn't been completed, I'm just going to pay for it at that point. Let me know what y'all think about that. I think, that's, I think that's reasonable. But I do want to look at the clothing situation because that might be what's causing our population situation. We're actually going to dip below 50k pretty soon. But it is because, yeah, clothing needs have been uh, not taken care of. You can see You can see it dropping here. Look at that. Look at that drop. Look at that steep drop. Just in the last little while. Yikes. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Now, what's the deal real quick up over here? Crops are coming through up over here. We have plenty of crops. Some over here as well. And the harvesters, I think. Over here. Okay. Things are happening. Things are happening, folks, but they will continue to happen next time because this is where we're going to call it a session. I hope you enjoyed this one. Lots of fun stuff done today. Uh, very happy that this is actually working the way it uh, you know, needs to. This is going to make a big difference for our nation, I think, and I, I hope. It seems to already have been making a big difference. We haven't seen a traffic jam over here for a while, so I'm sure it's increased our efficiency, even if we can't tell immediately. Um, but uh, that high note, I suppose, is where we're going to call it a session. Folks, again, if you enjoyed, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, and how I go about doing it. Um, and I, of course, like I say, always do read through all the comments. So if you have any suggestions, thoughts, opinions, questions, whatever it might be, feel free to drop them down below. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. That's for Daniel.